Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. Today I would like to speak to 7th standard students. Students, in the previous classes we have talked about first and second lessons. What is the first lesson? Food components. And what is second lesson? Acids and bases. I will give the links related to these two chapters in the description box which is right below this video. You can click on the link and you can get understanding of the continuity of the subject. Okay, students. And today, uh, what I am going to talk to is, before revealing the name of the lesson, I would like to ask you few questions. Students, do you know what are the animal products generally used by human beings? Yeah, what are the animal products? meat and skin is used in industrial level to make different articles ok and fur fur is nothing but hair of animal the hair of the animal is called as fur and fur is used in different uh, industries to make different articles. Okay. Can you expect what concept are we going to learn today? What do you call the fur in other words? Fur can be called as fiber. Okay. Fiber is nothing but fine strand like structures are called fibers. Okay. What is the question I asked? What are the animal products that are used by human beings? Okay. The animal products are like this, you know, and one of the products that we get from animals we are going to talk today. What is that? What is that? Animal fiber. Okay, students, what is the topic today? What is the topic for today? Animal fiber. Students, to understand in detail about this topic, uh, the lesson starts with a story. <coughs> Do you all like stories, right? Yeah, let me tell you the story. Two friends, Reshma and Nilima, they went to a flower garden to pluck some flowers in the garden. Meanwhile, Nilima shouted as a caterpillar crawling on her dress. Reshma rushed to Nilima and threw it away. Reshma rushed to Nilima and threw the caterpillar away and said that don't cry. Okay. Then Nilma asked Reshma, are caterpillars dangerous or are caterpillars harmful to us? Reshma said, no, all caterpillars are not harmful. Some caterpillars are useful too. Like this, Reshma explained about the uses of caterpillars and Reshma said the dress you wear made up of a product obtained by caterpillars you know. Nilima got surprised and what product we get from caterpillars? Now, Reshma said the dress I wear is made up of 
a product obtained from the caterpillars like you know that what product we get from animals what products that we get from caterpillars like that uh, Nilma was thinking thinking and thinking of course Nilma studied sixth standard and a concept related to fiber also she studied that fiber to fabric and she knew the fiber we get from plants and animals but she doesn't know what fiber we get from caterpillars we are going to talk in detail about the product that we get from caterpillars in detail in this chapter do caterpillars come under animals list yes caterpillars also come under animals list and then we get a fiber from caterpillars and that fiber we get from caterpillars is called silk okay to understand how do we get silk from caterpillars to understand the process of obtaining silk we need to visit an exhibition called sericulture exhibition so sericulture means sericulture means the process of obtaining silk okay the process of obtaining silk is sericulture okay students uh, sericulture is the process of obtaining silk so we get silk from plants or animals animals what is that caterpillar we get silk from what caterpillar okay yeah do you know caterpillar is a stage or one of the stages of life cycle of a worm what do we call the worm you know silk worm so if you understand the life cycle of silk worm caterpillar is the one of the stages of life cycle of silk worm okay students and what is the process of making silk and what are the stages involved what are the steps involved in the making of silk fiber and all we will learn in the next video you please write what is sericulture in your notebook and post your uh, assignment in our whatsapp group students okay students this is for today students thank you for listening thank you one and all